the Bible debunked. How many people have said that? How many articles on the internet? This article states that the apostles were liars, thieves, and murderers. I met a guy in the street a couple of months back and have been dialoguing with him who has this point of view. And I tried to share what the Bible actually says. And uh, he's a little bit um, belligerent, I would say a whole lot. All I can do is tell him about this article, which is very similar to his point of view, and give a quiet, detailed analysis of each point for point, which is what we should all do. Give it a fair argument. This article comes from testreligion.com. If I could find out an email, somebody tell me where this email is. I haven't found it on their website. They have another, a lot of different nonsensical articles there that that uh, are examples. This one is an example of the kind of reasoning this uh, man has. So I put comments by BibleStudyManuals.net in blue font. Hopefully he'll get it. But whether he'll respond, that's not my job though, is it? You've got Paul and Apollos and Peter. What are their jobs? We're there to be workmen for the Lord doing what they're directed to do via Bible study and via the indwelling God, Holy Spirit, leading. God's the one that brings in the results. Whether this man will take heed and be a little fair, fairer in his reasoning or not remains to be seen. My job is just to analyze and comment and observe. So 12 apostles were 12 liars, this man says. Bible debunked, apostles were liars, thieves, and murderers. This outrageous statement demands evidence, which is neither never forthcoming in this entire article, entire, which must be specifically from Scripture because the author of the article is critiquing the Bible or any book as, as well. It should The rules are the same, and it must be done via a normative reading which must be faithful to the normative rules of language, context, and logic in order to be fair. I.e., how you were supposed to learn to read when you were schooled. These little more buttons are more details on the issue because I believe in providing details if you're willing to go into it to a greater extent. So this is the proper approach to Scripture, which is really the proper approach to reading anything. Furthermore, it must be directly applicable to the 14 apostles. There were 14 after all. Besides that, the author of this article used the words of what the apostles wrote, often as if those words were reliable. When he has already determined they all were liars. It's incredible. Bad logic. Poor reasoning. Almost like a politician trying to get in the office no matter what it takes. Sometimes when you want to make a, po a point of view, you don't care whether it's obviously uh, contradictory or not. The Christian religion, that's just the beginning of his sentence, it's wrong. The Bible does not teach so-called Christian religions, which are in accordance with any of the many, many churches, denominations, and unbiblical points of view, which people define as their Christian religion, which this writer evidently means by this term. There are many, many different Christian religions in this article. Uh, and they are so contradictory of one another that you say the Christian religion, well, which one, you know, which denomination, which point of view? Does it matter? Is 
defacing the entire group of us. But most of these do not follow the proper means by which the Bible is to be read either. Evidence of which is the innumerable denominations of Christianity that differ so radically from one another. And he has in view, especially, the Catholic Church. Which is, is not Christian at all. They have all their writings and their own uh, precepts and often, often, often conflict with what the Bible actually says. I'm condemned all the time by people of the Catholic Church for being sola scriptura. I go by scripture alone. Now I'll take along under advisement what you think the Bible says, but I'm still going to go back to the original source. The Bible has the, church, the Christian, the Catholic Church doesn't have any original source. They have what, as recorded in the Bible, and there do I reams and other versions are not so far off that you can't discern what they really mean in the, in the book of uh, the Word of God. What it really means, it's a good version. But then they turn around and contradict it in their own writings. The Christian religion is based on Jesus Christ being our Savior according to the word of the apostles. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I get last thoughts there. I thought you entitled Wait a minute. I thought you entitled this article with a statement that the apostles were all liars. In the same way, on the other hand, the statement above is not always true. It depends upon which Christian religion of the innumerable Christian religions are out there and the definition specifically applied to the word Savior. How about well, you save you from what and how? Some, some uh, versions, like the, the Roman Catholic Church, require you to participate. So you participate in your own salvation. Uh, he he uh, provides sacrifice for original sin, but you have to uh, repent and behave right. How about simply reading the Bible properly, one of the many good translations, get some resources and start being honest by diligently using the normative rules of language, context, and logic, and leave everyone else's opinion behind. Do your own homework. Well, he says, Jesus appointed twelve and one went astray and was replaced. Then Paul, the most dedicated Christian preacher, claimed to be an apostle and to be accepted by the others. Note that not all of the writers of the New Testament were apostles. Who wrote Hebrews? Who wrote Luke and Acts? Furthermore, much of the New Testament is corroborated without error by the Old Testament, especially the prophetic statements as well as the character and actions of the God of the Bible. Now, you don't have to believe in the God of the Bible. Just go along with what it says in terms of what you're reporting. Like a newspaper reporter, he doesn't necessarily believe in everything that he observes, but he reports it. All of this without any contradiction properly interpreted in accordance with the normative rules of language, context, and logic. How did you learn to read? I said this to a guy the other day. I said, people may disagree with what the Bible says. He was maintaining that people have their own interpretation. They're in entitled to it. That's not to say, see, that is not to say that their interpretation is accurate or they're entitled to it. 
the full weight of their interpretation if they pluck it out of context like this article is doing here. You have a right to demonstrate by a logical observation using the rules of reading, language, context, and logic, to de refute that. Also, there is a lot of information that is claimed to be of the so-called Christian religion by this article and many points that are just not in the Bible and thus cannot be critiqued as to being representative of what the Bible says, especially points made in the extra-biblical writings of the Roman Catholic Church or other churches. In the, uh, which, in and in, 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 in of themselves, are not Christian in the sense of accurately reflecting what the Bible says. It says, properly interpreted. The Bible properly interpreted says what it says. It must be interpreted properly and examined properly on only what it says in order to provide a legitimate, plausible critique. I didn't get this far with my conversation with the man I'm uh, confronting all the time, having to go by on my way to the YMCA. He's belligerent, doesn't want me to talk, has points of view. And one thing he says is, you don't know something that I know, he tells me. And since you don't know it, I can't tell you. And I go, why? Because since you don't know it, you're not supposed to know it. I'd like to see him defend himself before a judge if he's a question about committing a crime or, uh, or two. Judge, you guys, your evidence, uh, your accusations are wrong. Tell, tell us why. I don't have to tell you. You're just not, you're not given to know it. It's going to be time in the prison. One cannot impose upon the Bible points arrived at outside the confines of the Bible and then find fault with what is clearly not in the Bible. This includes anything extra-biblical from the Roman Catholic Church or any church or person, regardless of whether or not they are so-called Christian or not. First thing I do when I go to a website is go to the statement of their doctrines of the faith and what they believe, if I can find one. And I quickly find out what their point of view is and compare it to what the Bible says. Most of them are so open and contradictory toward what the Bible says don't know even why they don't say this is not a Christian website. Unreliable, that's what this guy says. On the contrary, the Bible is wholly reliable. When a relative accurate translation, relatively accurate translation of the Bible is properly read, and I would say relatively, that's largely accurate. Most of them are very, very reliable. It's properly read in accordance with the normative rules of language, context, and logic, and have these three mores here, without imposing upon it points that are not even in it, in the Bible. Or points that are arrived at by altering or misinterpreting the words. Then the Bible is wholly reliable. Now you can point to dis, uh, inaccuracies by cherry picking, but after 30 years, so what, so far, what I've studied on the Bible, which is somewhere about two-thirds of it, uh, maybe half of that in great detail, the other half, uh, I, I, I investigated sections of a particular book or chapter. And so far, I found no errors. I'm not going to say there is not one error in the whole Bible, because I would be dishonest, because I haven't yet thoroughly examined the whole Bible. It takes a lifetime to do that. The apostles and their followers twisted and lied about the Old Testament to make it seem to have predicted their Savior God. Well, then why are you quoting what they have to say? You can't use that as evidence because it's suspect as to be its accuracy. But I answer chapter and verse, please, with detailed proof, evidence for each and every purported lie. The authors of the so-called Old Testament Hebrew Bible who were not apostles, did predict who their Savior God would be precisely with hundreds of specific predictions. And the writers of the so-called New Testament Greek Bible corroborated these predictions without a single error. 
Take a look at that study.